Hi there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. We like to travel a lot and we like to travel in our car a lot. Have you ever been on a road trip though and have had that stupid little check engine light come on on your car? It's happened to us several times. So I actually went out and bought something that I could actually read the code that that check engine light is all about to find out what was wrong with my car before I went and experienced a seriously large service bill. So I went and got this one. This is the Honeywell. Uh, this is the one that uh, works with my car. I mean, there's several other ones that you can uh, that you can buy. We just got it through Amazon. Um, this is the Honeywell, and they call it the Gardenator. It's what it's called. It's the Gardenator uh, Vehicle Solution Management. So um, we're going to take a look at it here. This is what comes with it. Um, basically, it comes with a Are You Happy card and so on and so forth. Uh, make sure you read that. And then it comes with directions. But this is all it is. This is all it is. This little thing right here. And you ever wonder how they always know how, oh, we've got to plug it into the computer and figure out what's wrong with it. This is what they plug in. Um, much bigger than what what uh, what this is. But if you go to a car dealer, they're going to charge you $60 to just read this code. So we got this. And we read the codes on one of my cars. And it works perfectly. So I've got a car right now that's got a check engine light on it. So I'm going to go out and read the code and show you how this works. Make sure you read the directions, the directions on all of this because it, it works with your phone. Whether you have, this one works with an iPhone, but you can get one that works with um, one of the other phones as well. But this one works with an iPhone, that's the one I got. But you just make sure you read the directions on it, which, uh, which I have already. So we're gonna take this outside and plug this into the car. So hang on tight for a second. First thing you need to do before you even plug this in is download the app to your phone. It's called the Gardenator. And it's real simple to, that's what the app looks like when it's opened up. And I'll show you a little bit more when we get in the car. So first thing you gotta do is stop the beeping. <laughs> um, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the, um, the car that's in here because right, it's getting set up for another car. Let's see here. I'm gonna change this to Nissan. Ultima. Two thousand five, and this is a two point five uh, displacement. I had to figure out what displacement was because it calls for a displacement. Displacement is basically like this is a two point five. Um, my uh, kids' Fiesta, the one we had this hooked up to before, was a one point six. Just it's in your owner's man, you know, in your owner's manual. Find the displacement. This is a 2.5, so I'm going to change this to 2.5. So we've got it in there. It didn't save. Hang on a second. I'll modify vehicle. Try it one more time. I forgot one step. Modify vehicle. So now this is set up for my 2.5 Nissan Altima 2005. So you can see, if you can see that up in the top there. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna plug it into your computer. Now, I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take the camera here real quick and show you what I'm looking at. So you wanna come down here and you'll see under here, right there, is where you want to plug it into. And normally most of them look like that. And most of them are ex that accessible. Normally right there on the left side of the steering wheel underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to start the car. So it's in there now. And if you see on my dashboard, you see the check service light is on right there. Yep, there you go. So the check service light is on. So now we're in here and what we wanna find out is what's going on with the car. So we're gonna hit the diagnose button underneath. 
and we want just a quick diagnose. And we started the car. So now the computer, the, 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 the gardenator is checking the diagnosis to find out what is the check engine light is. And it does take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna warn you that it does take a couple of minutes to do that. But it checks all the codes. There we go. And it's coming up with a P0420 code. Uh, I'm sorry, a P0420 code. So now that you know that code, you have to go online. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go open up my Google app, type in Nissan 2005, and what is a P0420 code, and then hit search. And then it's gonna come up and tell me what, it, what the code is for. As the code description implies, the P0420 code means the vehicle's control module is detected that the three-way catalytic converter is not working properly, is not as efficient as the factory is expecting. So basically it's telling me that my catalytic converter is bad or going bad. So we've checked the codes. We got the P0420 code uh, for Nissan Altima 2005. It was for the catalytic converter. So that's what this thing does. Um, you're gonna save yourself a lot of money in service calls if you know what the codes are before you actually go in there because they'll charge you you know, anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks just to diagnose the problem before they even get started. If you know what it is ahead of time, you can walk in and say, hey, I need a new catalytic converter. My catalytic converter's bad, I read the codes. This thing was not that expensive. Um, I think it was like 30 bucks. Uh, you can get you know, anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks and it's gonna save you money down the long run. Uh, again, this one's for an iPhone, but you can get them for uh, the Samsung Galaxies. You can get them for any of the other phones as well. Uh, Amazon.com is where we got it. Do appreciate you checking out the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below uh, and get notification on future videos. Also the bell notification button and do appreciate you checking it out. Thanks.